You know how precious kids are. You want the best for them, to be safe, to succeed. You want your children to have the best education they can, because the biggest separator between poverty and breaking free is a college degree. This is Norman Thomas High School, New York City. 2,257 kids go here. Four of the five bigger boys we raised who became our sons were students here. Half the children who start high school in New York drop out. Half of those who stay fail. That's not good. It's nobody's fault, but it's all of ours. White people, middle class people, because it's really class and not skin color, mostly send their children to private school. Schools are in crisis. This is a high school, but it's a warehouse. Thousands line up each morning, swipe their IDs through turnstiles manned by police matching faces to photos embedded in the cards. Kids put their school bags through x-ray machines and pass through detectors. It's not a good way to start a school day. It's not a good way to encourage education, the wonder for learning, not to mention what happens once they get upstairs. It is a way to tell children we really don't care much about them. But there are no bad guys. The people dedicating their lives to teaching are good people. Things aren't working out. And it can be different for everyone. That's what I've written a book about. What Else But Home? Seven Boys and an American Journey Between the Projects and the Penthouse.